we got strength reversed for your first card. Then we have family. And then we have lighten your load, Leo. So there is somebody that could be feeling like they don't have the strength to, you know, hold on to this family situation anymore. Because some of my Leos could be in a toxic family relationship with, um, it's just that you with a group of people or one person that is just very toxic or just, you know, shady or both. But I feel like this situation is stressing you out, Leo. You guys have a lot going on in this household, I'm hearing, with this person or these people, if it's a group of people. But I am seeing that a lot of my Leos could just be wanting that stability. Even though you are aware, see this person that got this light and they, they, they looking down at this light and they holding it. You are aware of the BS that's going on around you, Leo, in this relationship or in this family situation. Some of y'all could be holding on because of the stability. Maybe you are, maybe you can't afford to walk away right now, Leo. If this is you, Leo, that want out of a relationship or maybe you live with a close friend, a family member or ex. Maybe you just feel like you don't have, um... Some of y'all could be just be there because right now maybe you don't have the funds to actually move house, you know, whether you live with a friend or or a, um, a relative. Some of you guys it could just be a relationship that you may be in. The rest of you guys could be holding on to this relationship. It's either that you cannot afford to leave or you could be staying for the kids. One or the other or both. But I am getting that energy. If it has to do with children, it could be somebody that is single that is living with a group of people or a family or a friend and things just really got bad in that, you know, household period. Y'all take what side y'all on. But I am getting that somebody feels like they can't leave that family situation right now due to all the responsibilities that they carry in. You know, because I feel like if you were a single Leo, you could be struggling right now and you could be feeling like you need a place to stay for a while until you get on, you know, get your money up. That could be the case for somebody. The rest of y'all, it could just be, if you have a family with this person, you could be staying for the kids, or you could just be feeling like maybe you just don't have the money to leave. Whatever the case may be, Leo, it's stopping you for, what you feel like it's stopping you from um, getting out of this toxic environment that you may be in with, these, with this person or these people. What else do we have? Because I'm getting both sides. Family, like far as a romantic relationship with kids and I'm also seeing a single person who is living with a friend or a family member that is you know being very mean or you know toxic or whatever um some of y'all if y'all living with somebody for the singles if y'all living with somebody this person could be making you do a lot purposely because you live with them you see what I'm saying but I feel like y'all got your own responsibility that y'all trying to handle on the outside like maybe you're trying to get help you know, to move house or, you know, it, it could be anything tangible or something like that. But it's like somebody is just being toxic around you. We got rejoice and celebration. So listen, even though you're going through the things that you're going through, Leo, y'all got some good things coming together for y'all. Some of y'all are definitely getting ready to be celebrating. Maybe you just got some form of advancement maybe some of y'all just got a loan or y'all have got some form of support to pay your bills or you got some form of support to, to get a house especially if you are looking for a house leo um but i am seeing that there could be some form of union where you will be celebrating on you know some form of advancement expansion in your life leo a new beginning basically birth threes are all about rebirth so some of y'all Definitely got a new beginning coming in, and you will be very, very happy about it. Some of you guys may go out to the bar, celebrate, whatever it is that you're getting ready to get. If not, you could be coming together with friends or family members, not everybody, but I am seeing some form of new beginning where you will be very, very happy about this, Leo. Some of you guys are, if this is a relationship that you may be in, stuck in, Leo, when you felt like you couldn't afford to leave or you could not just leave yet, some of y'all could be meeting somebody new. Somebody could be meeting somebody new. And um, 
It's giving them the strength to move away from the, the toxic relationship that they may be in. Somebody could be using that toxic relationship, you know, basically escaping from it. Not physically escaping from it, but I wouldn't say cheating. Somebody could be cheating. I'm going to keep it real. Somebody could be cheating, although they're still holding on to a relationship that they feel that, you know, that is toxic. But maybe you're not cheating. For those, some of y'all are cheating. I mean, somebody is cheating. The rest of you guys... It's just your way of coping with the toxicity that's going on in around the house that you are living in. You know, going out, going to the bar, drink, drinking, you know, celebrating, having fun, you know, getting together with certain people. You see what I'm saying? It's because y'all could be using that to um, to escape from the environment, the toxic environment that you may be in. Or it could be your person the other way around. But we got... The three, so we got solar plexus chakra. So I just feel like some of my Leos, y'all emotions could be all over the place a little bit. Some of you guys could be. Um, but maybe you just don't somebody feels like they're they're not in their power to to leave something behind. Because I feel like somebody wants to leave but they feel like they don't have the strength to leave you see what i'm saying in a situation that they may be in but we're gonna definitely clarify it's like somebody could be in a relationship but they could be single acting like they're single you see what i'm saying what else do we have? The rest of y'all are single. Because like I said, some of y'all could just be living with somebody. But you want out of there. But, you know, y'all do got something coming in. But for some reason, some, something could be holding you back spiritually. I'm going to keep it real. Some of y'all, there could be something that you feel is over your head or over your shoulder. Or, you know, you could be stuck on. And it could just be, it may not even be you. It could be them clinging on to you, Leo. Maybe there is somebody in your family that still want to hold on to you. Even though you want to move away. You see what I'm saying? Somebody could be feeling stuck in that situation or relationship. It don't matter who it is. Friend, family, a romantic love interest. It's like somebody feel like they can't physically move. What else? And it could just be using like going out with friends and family as a way to escape from the toxic environment that they are in with a person or a group of people. But we got justice right here. So things are going to start to balance out for you, Leo. This card has been coming out a lot lately. Six of Pentacles right here. It's like some of my Leo has been fair to people that may have not been giving them that same energy. Like, for real. You have been trying to compromise with somebody or a group of people that was just not really there for you. That was just not really supportive towards you, Leo. Or understanding. Especially if you live with somebody. Maybe they was taking more than they was helping you. You see what I'm saying? Some of you guys. Some of y'all could have a court situation where you feel like could be holding you back. Maybe somebody could be needing to come out of their pocket and pay some form of support, some child support. Ooh, some of y'all may not, some of y'all may be stuck in a relationship with somebody that you could be not really wanting to be in a relationship with, but maybe you only there because you don't want to pay child support. Because maybe, maybe you could be afraid if you leave that relationship with this person, that, that um, your person will make you pay child support. Ooh, I just had that in my spirit. I felt that. Somebody. But I am currently getting that there could be a legal situation also that could be holding you back, Leo, from actually physically walking away from this family situation. Somebody could be owing, owing you some money. Some of y'all could be a landlord situation. Maybe a landlord is like taking all your rent money, but don't want to fix nothing. And then now the landlord, now you're not paying them nothing. They could be taking you to court and then maybe you have to go come out of your pocket or something like that. I don't know. Or it could be the other way around. Maybe the landlord got to give you their money, you know, give your money back. 
I'm seeing different situations for different people, but it does have something to do with a toxic environment that you may be in with, whether you are with yourself or with a family situation or with a romantic love interest with family, you know, and kids. But I'm seeing different things for different people. Somebody, it is some form of justice where somebody don't have to pay something. Somebody is getting ready to receive something in court. We got King of Wands right here. I'm looking at this as the judge. Ooh, some of y'all may have, like I said, some of y'all may have, pay, have to pay out something. Maybe it's a fine. Maybe you have to go to court because maybe you're on parole or maybe you go, you on probation or something. Maybe that could be stopping you from saving up your money to leave house, Leo. Wherever you at, it don't matter if you're with a relative, with your baby mom, baby dad, a friend of yours, that could be the reason why you could be feeling like held back a little bit for move, you know, for pushing things forward. It's like you get a break, but then again, you still got something holding on, on to you from the past. And it could be something that may have caught up with you, Leo. Like I said, it could be a fine that you have to pay. It could be child support you could have to pay. It could be the lack of finances that you have. Maybe you're not really getting any money from your job all like that. Maybe you're having a hard time, you know, y'all could be in survival mode right now. Some of my Leos could be in survival mode right now. It's like you got so much going on right now, lighten your load. You have a lot going on right now, Leo, and your way of trying to escape reality is by going to the bar, having fun, drinking, going out to parties, you know what I'm saying, because of so much going on in your life, Leo, where you feel like you held back. But I am seeing that something will be, something will be justified. And it's going to make, it's going to motivate you to step your game up, Leo. Whatever this is, is getting ready to happen to you in court or um, it doesn't matter what it is. It could be court. It could be, it could be something legal. I feel like a lot of my Leo is something legal. It's going to, it's going to force you to step your game up. Wow, Ten of Cups. And you will get that Ten of Cups. You will get that prosperity, that happy, you know, that content. You're going to be really, basically, you're going to be good. You know what I'm saying? You're going to be happy. You're going to be real good. You're going to be You're going to be feeling very emotionally fulfilled, Leo. And whatever this is that you will get in favor. You get ready to receive something. Like I said, some of y'all, somebody owe you something or somebody felt like you owe them something. And it could be money. And then we got the four of wands reverse. Ooh, yeah. Somebody is like very determined to leave something or someone that wasn't getting any better. Some of y'all, it is the judge could be making something go in somebody's favor because maybe the landlord wasn't fixing up the house. Three of wands is all about no improvement. You know what I'm saying? No advancement. No no new beginning for a while somebody is leaving the household some of y'all is leaving the household no matter who it is some of y'all may have had somebody you was living with take you to court the child say you owe them rent money or you owe them for doing something like it could be anything and maybe you broke something i don't know people is petty nowadays 
But it could be anything. Yeah. And I feel like after you leave that situation or these people, you're avoiding them completely. You know, you're avoiding them. You're taking your feelings out of the situation and you're done. I feel like you're done with these people. Because it wasn't nothing that was going to change anyways. But I am seeing that you're letting go. The hangman reverse. You're letting go. And breaking some form of... um. Some of y'all could be breaking a, um, a contract or a relationship, separating yourself from a relationship or something, like a friendship, a relative, you know, maybe you had broke ties with a relative, like y'all could cut ties with relatives that may have took you to court or done you wrong or tried to take advantage of you in a way, but something, somebody was trying to take advantage of you, Leo, and you, didn't, you did not allow that at all. You up and left. I'm hearing no hard feelings, but um, I got to get up out of here. I got to I gotta avoid this person at all costs. But I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up, Leo. So y'all take what applies with you, and y'all take care.